been a week since I last chatted with you, and a lot has come through. In fact, KDP is in the news again for a couple of different reasons, and one of them is they're allowing you to schedule print book releases, but it's not a pre-order. And also, oh gosh, my Discord community unearthed a very interesting insight in that people's keywords are appearing on their product page inside the product details section. Oh my lord, Spotify, by the way, is officially announcing that they're doing a membership to where people can go ahead and check out your audiobook and anybody else's audiobook. All that in today's self-publishing news for October the 9th, 2023. Learn how to publish books and build your author business with award-winning author and self-publishing consultant, Dale L. Roberts. This is the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast. Folks, I want to give a big shout out to our channel sponsors, the fine folks over at Dibley Create. I've been talking a little bit more about them lately. They are a cloud-based word processing service that it has the power of AI integration in it. You don't have to use the AI, but it's certainly helpful. And hey, just so you know, I'm just going to kind of clear this one out the way. Dibley Create is not here to try to get AI to replace you as an author. They're using AI and leveraging it in a way to where it makes you more efficient at what you do. They're not looking to have you take AI and make a book out of it. They believe in supporting humans. And if you believe in that cause as well, make sure you go on over and visit my affiliate link at dailylinks.com slash Dibley Create. Get yourself set up with free or premium access. And by the way, you can get seven days of premium access when you visit that link as well. And if for some reason you say after the first seven days, hey, I just want the free access, you can go ahead and just cancel that and go right to the free access and enjoy it. Just as I have been enjoying it for the past couple of months, I think you're going to enjoy it too. Let's get on into the very first news segment. we got to start out here right out the rip. This is really cool information that has been long needed. You can now schedule when your KDP print book becomes live on Amazon. Let me give you the TLDR at this point. So a little bit of a past. Previously, all you could do for getting your book onto the market was publish and pray that it goes live on the day that you want it to. And then they have pre-orders for eBooks, which means that you can make a product page available and that eBook will launch on a given date that you want to. But if you want to do that for a print book, you couldn't do it. There are no pre-orders for print books and there is still no pre-order option for print books, but you can schedule for when that product page will go live. And when you've been approved for distribution through them, in other words, they say, hey, this is cool. It's scheduled to be released. You can order author copies. So you no longer have to worry about waiting to get author copies until the product page is available. You can now officially order that now. So I think there was a lot of confusion I've seen within the indie author community. A lot of people think it's a pre-order. It's not a pre-order. That page will not be live to anybody else until the release date. So this is really nice if you are trying to launch on a given day. So you could have that pre-order available for the ebook and then that print book will launch on the very same day that the pre-order goes out into a full launch and then it's simultaneous release. It's beautiful. I love it. Big thank you to the KDP team, but just one small request. I know. I know I shouldn't be complaining at this point, but I, I, I'm just going to say, give us pre-orders. Come on. Look at Ingram Spark. Ingram Spark. Don't let Ingram Spark upstage you. Ingram Spark gives us pre-orders. Give us pre-orders. All right? All joking aside, oh my Lord. If you have not joined my Discord community lately, you will have missed a big, 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 big issue. And the reason why I say this is... Over on the Discord community, over at dailylinks.com slash Discord, inside the general chat, a couple people, and I'm going to shout out my boy Butcher Respawn, and oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to forget who, uh, give me just a second, one of our other channel uh, Discord members, ah uh, gosh, give me just a second here, ah, VB Davis, VB Davis actually had shared that they found a weird discrepancy on product pages, more importantly, for paperback books via mobile. If you are on Amazon's site through mobile and more importantly, incognito mode, if you go into a book's product page and you scroll down in some area where there was a product details, it had an area that said subject keywords 
and then it gave all the keywords from the back end. So this means that it has literally outed everybody. All of those seven keywords that you've been using, it's there now. People can see it clear as day. And here's the part that's the biggest kicker is trad pub books. The, those that are in the traditional publishing world. What is this? They have like tons. There, there was one book that had like, I would say easily, like I think Butcher Respawn actually had, had screen grabbed. It was like four screenshots of how many keywords were associated to this particular book. We get seven backend keywords, yet these folks get to have 50 million of them? Come on now, come on. What's good for one person needs to be good for the other. I don't see why this has gotta be a lopsided, you know, conversation here. We should be allowed to have the same privileges as Trad Pub and vice versa. So we get seven back end, fine. Give them seven back end. To me, it puts too much of an unfair advantage on their part. But I'm gonna back it up just a little bit here. If you try to go and look for this particular glitch or split test, who knows, you won't find it on desktop. Everybody tried looking for it on desktop. We couldn't find it on desktop. It only appeared to be on mobile. And in some instances, I would find some product uh, subject keywords on a product page and wouldn't find it on another one that other people were. So it that's why it seems like it might be a glitch. It might be some form of a split test. I reach out to KDP team and I'm gonna tell you, um, they didn't seem to know either. They couldn't duplicate it because they were having the same situation I was. I was like, well, go over and join the Discord, which by the way, watch out folks over in the Discord because maybe there's the, the KDP team's gonna join us at any point now to kind of catch up to speed. But all that to say this, um, I don't really know what's going on at this point. Really don't. Are we gonna to start to see something like this? Is this just some kind of split test? We will see in due time. Let's move forward inside the news here with the fine folks over at Findaway Voices, AKA Spotify launches audiobooks to eligible premium subscribers. A catalog of over 150,000 audiobooks is now available to eligible Spotify premium subscribers in the United Kingdom and Australia with more to come. This is really neat. Spotify now offers 15 hours of monthly audiobook listening to eligible paid premium members in the UK and Australia. This exciting news for indie authors who will now have the potential for millions more people to discover and connect with their works, as well as for eligible Spotify premium listeners who will have access to over 150,000 audiobooks in addition to the music and podcasts included in their subscription. Find a way voices authors receive royalties the more their audiobook is listened to and there is no there's no 20% Find Away Voices distribution fee for audiobook revenue. Now, I haven't been able to explore this a little further because obviously this is going to be coming from a revenue share type model, a, a, a global pool that we'll pull from. So I'm going to try to do my best to dig deeper into some of this and find out how this applies. Because obviously when someone buys an audiobook, you get a 50% royalty through Spotify. So someone buys that, it's great. It's probably one of the best uh, royalty rates that you have out there right now. One of the best. I'm going to say it is the best. Um, but how does that apply to a checkout model to where someone's paying a monthly premium to Spotify? That's what we need to kind of explore a little further because I don't know about you, but if it's not going to do anything favorable to, let's say, discoverability for my audiobook, I'd rather not have it in a pool-based system because typically with pool-based systems, you're getting paid cents on the dollar. I'd much rather have solid sales. So I would recommend that you do your own due diligence, do some research, go look into your terms, uh, a service over on Findaway Voices to see how that spells out or even reach out to the folks over at Findaway Voices, which I will be doing after this broadcast. All right, let's move a little further forward. The fine folks over at Readsy on Thursday, October the 12th are going to be hosting a live workshop preparing to write a novel, Five Keys to Success. Author and best-selling ghostwriter Tom Bromley talks about the, bit, uh, the five P's of preparing to draft a novel. This is gonna be about an hour long. It's a mobile e-ticket. You don't need to spend any money on it though. It will be Thursday, October the 12th from three to 4 p.m. They're also gonna cover everything from creating a compelling pitch, inventing a protagonist who can carry a novel, outlining enough of a plot to guide your draft, choosing a suitable point of view, and solidifying the place where your story occurs. Again, Thursday. October 12th at 
12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 3 p.m. Eastern Daytime. Let's move on over here. The fine folks over at the Later Press, laterpress.com, folks. This is not a sponsored spot. Go over, check it out. This is a great way to distribute your eBooks and collect 100% of all your earnings. Love that. Love me some Later Press. They're always keeping us up to date. Big shout out to Nate Gillick over there. And he actually had highlighted in his recent newsletter that uh, writing books remains a tough way to make a living. The Authors Guild released results of a new author income study, which reinforces what you probably already know. It's hard to make a living as an author. The median income levels cited put authors below the poverty line. Of note, for traditional publishers looking to scoop up talent, the overwhelming majority of authors under 55 years old earn the majority of their income by self-publishing, suggesting publishers need to offer better advances or royalty arrangements to financially compete against what authors can do on their own. There's a full write-up and piece about it over on Publishers Weekly. I figure it was better for me to read Nate's uh, synopsis here. Again, you can go ahead and help support out the cause. Go over, check out laterpress.com and see if that's going to be a good fit for you. And also take a look at the link inside the description for the Publishers Weekly thing. All right, I'm super excited about this one. I've talked about Book Vault a lot lately, and some of you are probably some Book Vault detractors, and that's totally fine. If you don't get it, that's fine. Just tune out for just a, a couple minutes here as I go ahead and gush about the latest rollout. If you are an ally, a, an Alliance of Independent Authors member, okay, that is a paid membership, yearly membership, they were originally offering five free uploads per month for Ally members. They would give you a code that you can redeem every month. But now Book Vault said over on Twitter, this is hilarious. They've got a GIF here. Uh, and <laughs> do you say free? Great news. We've just extended our promotions with the Ally, our Indie Author Ally, aka the Alliance of Independent Authors, to allow unlimited free title uploads. You can find the code in the Ally Members Portal to print in either our UK or US facility. That is so cool. Uh, it typically costs, I think, like 25 bucks, uh, might be 25 pounds, and it comes out to be about 32 bucks or something like that for the upload fee. And that can add up after a while. You only need to do it once upon the first upload. Uh, unlike Ingram Spark, where it's just like, you could upload it, but then they have an update fee anytime that you do it after the first 60 days. No, you know what they did over Book Vault? They're like, that's too hard. Like, th let's just make it simple. If you're an ally member, we'll waive that. Now, here's the cool thing. Let's just pretend it's, it's flat $25. Okay, if you were to redeem that at least five times in the course of a year, that would pay for one annual membership on Ally, which by the way, Ally has a ton of other discounts and offers and things like that that you can take advantage of. For instance, they have the free update code that you can have five times per month through Ingram Spark. They have other things like you can get discounts on the hot sheet, one of my favorite newsletters through Jane Friedman. But all that to say, if you want to go ahead and check out the Alliance of Independent Authors, go over to dailylinks.com slash ally and you're going to want to go into the deals and discounts area for more information. All right, let's go a little further forward. Uh, speaking of Ally, they actually had this come out in their latest newsletter because if you are a member, they're offering a free competition called Art of the Title from Self Pub Con. They actually just extended the deadline. You asked, we listened. The Art of the Title competition entry deadline has been extended to Tuesday, the 10th of October at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Enter now for your chance to win a range of exciting prizes for indie authors. The Art of the Title competition is open to all indie authors at any stage of their writing or publishing. There's no entry fee and winners will be announced live at Self Pub Con 23 on the 21st of October. More details you can be able to find out over on their website, of course. They talk about essentially the whole thing is they, uh, for the entries, they want you to, let's see here, the title of your subscription or sub submission should stand alone and tell a story in and of itself and can be up to seven words long. The synopsis alongside the title provide a single paragraph and the original work. Your submission must be entirely your own original work and not infringe on the copyright of any other work. And they talk about some of the judging criteria. It's a free contest, folks. I would just recommend, go take advantage of it. It's it's quite the opportunity. They have a lot of really, really cool prizes. Like when I looked through it, I was like, whoa, okay, I might need to consider uh, submitting my book here. 
So, all right. And let's go over here to this last news piece coming from the fine folks over at the Written Word Media. This one's got my interest, and especially as I'm kind of getting my feet into the whole fiction end of the pool. Uh, grow your email list, hundreds of avid readers at a time with subscriber surge giveaways. Subscriber surge giveaways are a cost-effective way for you to grow your email list so you can reach qualified readers and sell more books. Readers flock to enter our giveaways, which boost your book's exposure and connects you with qualified audience who love books just like yours. Each giveaway lasts for 60 days and features multiple eBooks, including yours, in a genre-specific giveaway, offering readers a chance to win these books plus a free Kindle by signing up for author email lists. This is cool. I kind of like this. It gets it to where you don't need to think about how to grow your email list. And those of you that actually are struggling to make, you know, getting your email list together, this might be a great starting point because then that will give you a seed amount of readers or an email list that you can start to do newsletter swaps with other folks inside your genre, whether through story origin or places like book funnel or more. So um, I'm going to take a look at this one and I'll keep you guys apprised on my main channel if there's any type of results. That is the news for this past week. What did you think about some of them? Was there any particular piece of news that I might have missed or might have gotten wrong? Because Lord knows I'm not perfect here, folks. I do the best that I can. Till later, this has been Self Publishing with Dale. I will catch you inside the Discord server where you're going to go right now. DaleLinks.com slash Discord. Take care, folks. You've been listening to the Self Publishing with Dale podcast. Visit us at selfpublishingwithdale.com for more information on how you can level up your self publishing business. Also, check out our growing video on demand service, chock full of free and premium content, when you head over to the selfpublishinghub.com. If you enjoyed the show, please consider leaving a review on your preferred podcasting platform. We thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode.